Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's UK weather forecast on Friday, the 31st of March, 2023. When warnings have been issued by the UK Met Office for today, we have yellow rain and wind warnings for the far south and southwest of England and Wales. The uh, wind warning will expire at 12 midday. Wales B rain warning will expire at 6 p.m. this evening. The situation is a deep area of low pressure is sitting across England and Wales. Upper air temperatures are very mild. So as we begin this Friday morning, we've got outbreaks of rain across England and Wales. Though not everywhere is wet, there are drier spots in between the areas of wet weather. And there's some heavy rain down across southern and southwestern regions. We've got some showers through northern Ireland, northern England, but much of Scotland is mainly dry. Very windy in the south along the south coast and in the channel gusts go around 60 to 70 mile an hour. Meanwhile, in the centre of that low pressure, wind gusts are mostly light. And it's a very mild start with temperature, temperatures of around 5 to 10 Celsius. Through the rest of today, that area of low pressure will stick around the country, gradually drifting eastwards. So we'll find those showery outbreaks Rates of rain continuing across England, Wales. There's one heavy burst down in the south. And then heavy showers will break out this afternoon across central, southern, and also southeastern parts of England. There could be hail and thunder mixing with both downpours as well as localised flooding. South Wales and southwest England will have more general outbreaks of rain. Showers for Northern Ireland and Northern England. Strong having a lot of dry weather, but even here, some showers are possible. After a very windy morning, down in the south, along the south coast of the channel, those winds will gradually ease back, but still gusting up to around 40 mile an hour in most southern southwestern regions, even through to the end of the afternoon. And temperatures will start to turn cooler as well, basically not rising much from where they are right now, so hovering around 5 to 10 Celsius, and as the wind turns into the east, it will start to feel rather chilly. Overnight tonight, that area of low pressure gradually moves away into the uh, continent, and reach of high pressure starts to build in from the north. So we'll have further showery outbreaks of rain in the uh, west and the southwest. We heavy showers and maybe thunderstorms in the far south southeast will fade out, but more persistent rain will continue through northern Ireland, Wales, and southwestern England. And some showers, mostly right in nature, coming onto the east coast. In between, a lot of dry weather, and the winds will gradually ease further through the course of the night, so no problems there. And the temperatures in the south relatively mild, around 7, 8 or 9 degrees, will take a little bit colder through Scotland and Northern England with a touch of ground frost possible. Tomorrow, Saturday, will turn that air of low pressure into the low countries, winds turning into a chilly easterly direction. We'll have further outbreaks of rain through Northern Ireland, Wales and some central, southern, southwestern parts of England, those will be on and off through much of the day. And uh, further showers coming onto the east coast. Elsewhere, there will be quite a bit of dry weather, albeit with a lot of cloud. And it can be feeling quite chilly tomorrow, especially in the north and the east, where temperatures will be in single digits, only around 6, 7 or 8 degrees. We could get up around 10 or 11 through some southern parts of the country. But again, that's a little bit below par, probably, for the uh, start of April. Well, into Sunday, high pressure in establishing across the country. That should bring a lot of dry weather with it, just a few showers in northern and western regions. Temperatures will be a little bit on the cold side. So if the sky is clear on Sunday night, watch out for the chance of a frost in some places. High pressure dominates weather on Monday, so a main dry day, more anywhere bright or sunny spells. Temperatures a little bit below par for the time of year, though. And then into Tuesday, again, high pressure is in control of weather for many of us. Some patchy rain in far west Scotland, otherwise mostly dry with brighter sunny spells. And temperatures getting a little bit closer to average, although the nights could still be a bit on the cold side, especially in the south and the east. And that's the weather for this uh, wild Friday. Uh, March going out like a lion. You uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks so much.